Yeah, and in addition to the the benefits of the mind and and of course the heart, the thing that you also talk about on your website is brown fat, uh, and, and the difference between. Can you give some people some idea about what brown fat is, how that's different from white fat, and what the benefits of uh, cold water in in terms of brown fat and how it benefits us. Yes, uh, there are uh, brown fat was considered to be impossible to activate, and that was not no longer present in uh, people my age, for example, or fifty years and older, forty years and older. And now I'm sixty one. I got a lot of brown fat, and uh, not only uh, that is because of regular exposing myself to the cold, and the brown fat actually you get when uh, you are a baby and babies have no uh, ability to run, to warm up, they got this mechanism of brown fat. Brown fat is fat with a lot of mitochondria. Mitochondria are, uh, are like um, uh, uh, energy factories. And they, t uh, when the cold comes in, they begin to work, to be activated. So they cause, uh, they cause energy that is warmth. They generate simply warmth, energy. That's what the mitochondria, that, uh, and those mitochondria, they oxidate. And oxidation is red. The uh, uh, fat is white. That makes it brown. That hence the word brown fat. And uh, what a brown fat is able to do also when it is being exhausted, uh, when the f white fat is exhausted, then it retrieves white fat from all the body, wherever it can get it from. And that is the way people get into weight loss by exposing themselves into cold. Uh, the brown fat will work, exhaust the white fat, then will explore for new white fat to come in to produce energy again. That is the training of the, uh, uh, going into the cold. But now I've shown even a bigger source of energy. And that is uh, done through the mind. I showed in the brain scans, while being exposed, motion, being motionless in a brain scan, motionless, just by thought, to make ice water inflicted, uh, 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 or uh, 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 how do you say, um, being exposed by uh, ice water upon the skin, making the skin temperature by being motionless, just by thought, making the skin temperature not going down. Hmm. That is a control at will. The professors there, they say Wim Hof has found the secret of placebo. So placebo is no longer that the human power to, uh, uh, the psychic power to deal with uh, healing. Uh, when the doctor is saying uh, this pill works and, uh, and it's nothing but sugar, but it still works. Yeah, that's the human uh, psychic power. And we don't know where it is and how it is. But now I've shown how to deal with that consciously, how to use it consciously. So we don't need a suggestion anymore. We don't need a doctor to tell us this is this and that, uh, and then things are going to happen. We know now how to tap in. And this is the paradigm shift, uh, how, uh, what I want to bring to the people. You are capable of so much more at will within your own body and your own mind. Expand to it. Just take it on. Find out. It's there. So brown fat is one. Then you got the intercostal muscle activity. They, uh, they did not know uh, of this until I showed. Because when I was motionless, my intercostal muscles still worked. They produced a lot of energy, so much that the temperature of the skin being exposed to ice water was one degree up than normal, and it stayed over there. Can you imagine how much energy was being released? It's like a heater was going on, and I was doing nothing. That is being activated just by the power of the neurology of the mind. So we got brown fat. But now uh, that's what they found when they were searching within me. That was in Maastricht or, or in science, nuclear science. They have been investigating on me. And then they found out, oh, we found the secret of the Iceman. The other day in the, in the newspapers, it is brown fat. 
And then I showed it's not brown fat only. There is more. With your consciousness, you are able to generate even with your willpower, you are able to deal with stress, call the stress, and it needs energy to deal with. And we are able to generate just by sheer will, voluntarily, a lot more energy. And when it's coming and we are in control, then bacterial stress, viral stress, emotional stress, mental stress, any stress is being dealt with. Because in the end, it is, there is so much the body needs to maintain that energy we are conditioned to deliver. But when something happens, we don't have this extra energy. And now I found at will how to generate more energy than your the maintenance is needed to have. So we got this uh, uh, new findings. All first, it was the brown fat. That is good. Also for weight loss, very nice, great. Also good for the uh, vascular system to expose yourself to cold gradually, not forced. Gradually, that is all good. And then you got the control of the mind over the body uh, by activating intercostal activity, muscle activity, generating more energy. And then you have this mind power suddenly there, top-down regulation, how to create more energy, the, which you need when it is cold, but which you need when you are sick because the plasticity and neuroplasticity of your body, it needs energy, extra energy, besides of the maintenance of the body. And we normally don't know how to do that, but now I've shown how to do that, how to bring it to the human consciousness. And your work and my work coming together is bringing it out to the people. For that, it is a great platform. For that, I thank you that I'm here, a part of your platform. Thank you. No, thank you, Wim. Thank you, Wim. The, the, the thing that struck me as well in terms of the the brown fat it really brings me to to the next topic that I wanted to talk about. So you're saying that brown fat allows us to regulate the temperature of our body so that we can withstand more cold in the future as we develop more brown fat. Yes, through regular uh, going into a regular practice outside in cold, yeah. you will activate more brown fat, but. When, once your mind is beginning to work, the neurology of the mind, that means when you consciously go into the cold, then before you go into the cold, you are already activating the body with your mind. Because you know you are going into the bloody cold, and it's cold, it's real. So you, through your mind, through your awareness, are activating the adrenal axis. Yeah. You, uh, uh, you activate and get ready the vascular system to constrict, to be in control. And we have this neurological connection. So only we have lost it because we never used it. Once again, you don't use it in evolution, you lose it. But uh, now I say it's all there, guys. So uh, the brown fat is when you are a baby and when you are young. Because then your mind is not as much developed. But once it gets developed, you are able to use your mind and to uh, generate much more at will, just at will, to generate a, a lot more energy inside the body. Yeah. That is inside the mitochondria. Mitochondria energy factories in the cells. We are able to influence into the genes, into the DNA, into the cell, into the stress mechanisms of the cell, into the cell biological stress, all that. And another thing is we are able to go into the thermoregulation of the cell, creating energy to oppose whatever is going to come. Because your mind is not there just for thinking one and one is two and two and two. No, it's learning how to oppose at will activate the body to oppose stress in any way. Yeah, and that's it's the amazing. big key. Yeah, yes. sorry, sorry to cut that's you off. The big key. That yes, is sir. the big key. So, and, and I brought that up because, sorry, wait a minute. I brought that up because the, the biggest question, the biggest struggle that people have, uh, and the benefit of this brown fat being able to help us regulate our temperatures more is that 
knowing that cold water and taking cold showers or ice baths is a good thing, you're actually creating this positive feedback loop or po positive loop where the more cold showers you take, the less difficult it's going to be in the future and the more benefit that you're going to get by continuing to, to take more cold showers. And as you take more cold showers, you get more brown fat, the more resilient you become. So it really is this positive loop that is happening biologically you know, in our bodies um, because the key thing that I want to talk to you about here, Wim, is we know vegetables are good for us. Most people don't eat it, meaning it's amazing that, that the science and the scientific research that you're putting out there in terms of cold water and cold exposure becoming really beneficial for our body. And I think there's a lot of people around the world that are sold on that. But similar to me, where I know that cold water is great, I know that you know, a lot of people know that exercise is great. The problem is getting people to actually take action. So yes. I want to focus a little bit on that, meaning uh, you've now not just done it for yourself, but you've trained people all around the world. We, you know, we have a mutual friend that's gone through your program. Um, what is it? that can help people really go through their fears, whether it's priming their minds, whether it's being able to withstand the cold longer when they're a part of it. What is it that has worked for some of the students that you've taught to actually go through it and actually go through yes. the cold? Yes. Uh, that is scientifically, non-speculatively, it has been shown that everybody is able to deal with the cold. Gradual exposure, even for heart, cardiovascular related diseases uh, suffering people. Uh, I had people with four by uh, bypasses climbing with me, the Kilimanjaro, in a racket time, in shorts. <laughs> yeah, man. So there is no excuse for nobody, anybody who has any fear. And I'm talking a person of 65 years old. Huh? Oh my God. And he was capable of doing what younger people are not able to do. And with four bypasses, man, there is no excuse. The call is a great teacher. It brings about the connection between our physiology and our mind. The connection brings back a deep natural connection. And with that comes the ability to deal with inflammation, the ability to deal with mood regulation. If you want that, if you never want depression anymore, if you don't want inflammation, get a hold of cold within your life. And you got all the power, all the tools, all the physiological capacity to deal with that. There is no doubt. So no excuse, get into it, because it is good for you. I love you, I love you, and that's why I make you go into a cold shower. Because you've got to be a better person, better version of yourself.